three years ago, many of you were here uh, when there was a press conference that was held where the sheriff at that time told you that Tyler Cost was a serial rapist. That was not true. We are very happy with Judge White's decision today. Uh, we regret that it took three years to get to this point. When we started this case, Tyler was facing over 375 years of prison. There were many victims that were alleged against him. And through a lot of hard work and a lot of effort, we were able to expose a number of problems with that case, starting with a Facebook plot, moving on to an individual who had a lot of animosity against Tyler, who was going out and trying to get people to make false allegations against him, moving on to a case detective, a case agent, who was eventually fired for being untruthful and for numerous violations of the rules that a detective is required to follow in a case just like Tyler's. And those were violations that were committed in Tyler's case. In fact, the state's expert on forensic, in forensic interviews, not our expert, the state's expert on forensic interviews said that one of that detective's interviews was the worst interview she had seen in her entire career. And it's a long career. So there were many, many problems with the case against Tyler, including many false allegations. You guys will recall, there was actually an allegation that one of these young ladies was forcibly raped, became pregnant, and had an abortion. And that when she was having the abortion, she told them that she had been raped. None of that was true. And I don't think anybody's followed up on that and tried to figure out what actually happened there, but none of that was true. There were many other things that were said about Tyler and about his family that weren't true. At one point you were told that his mother was aware of this behavior, that his brother actually observed some of it. Completely false. All of those facts should explain to you why when a new county attorney was elected, he had to come in and look at these facts in the cold light of day and decide this case cannot go to trial, it has to resolve. While we still have very serious differences from the position that the county attorney's office has, I want to publicly acknowledge that it was only after a new administration came in and gave this case the look it should have had from the very beginning that we were actually able to make any progress on this case. I want to thank County Attorney Kent Volkmer for doing the job that an elected official is supposed to do. On behalf of Tyler, on behalf of his family, and Jim and Angelique and Tyler's brother, I want to say thank you to all of the folks who have stuck with them and supported them for the last three years. You cannot imagine what it's like to have a sheriff stand up in front of everybody and say, your son is a serial rapist, and you know it's not true. And you can't imagine what it's like when the people you thought were your friends all start to pull away from you and say, well, maybe it's true. But to the folks that stuck with them and supported them, they want to say thank you very much.